SnowRunner's public test server lets you try stuff before it's officially released. Here's how to do it, as well as some useful extra tips. Until recently, I tried to avoid playing new SnowRunner content early, partly because spoilers, but also because things change and that can be annoying when it comes to making videos. However, with the launch of the Canadian Yukon region, it was time for a change. So how can you follow in my footsteps and play on the public test server, or PTS for short? Well, you need to have a copy of the PC version, as the PTS is not available on Xbox or PlayStation. That's just the way it is. If you have a PC and a copy of SnowRunner, then it's time to go full steam ahead and open up the Epic Games Store software. You will default to the Store tab because profit. Click the one below, known as Library. Here you should, in theory, see another potential SnowRunner install. Except this one says SnowRunner Public Test Server. Install it as you did with the normal SnowRunner client, make a T while it downloads, and eventually you'll be able to hit Launch. You should now be able to play on the public test server, Woo! which means testing new SnowRunner content before it arrives on console. Expect a rougher experience than usual, as the PTS is the last quality check before an update is submitted for approval. Yes, there will be bugs, quirks, issues and whatnot, but personally I have found it to be a pleasing experience so far. Obviously this will vary depending on the quality of each update. Your PC game save does not transfer over to the public test server automatically, but you can use the file link in the description of this video to find your save. Then copy and paste that exact file to the public test server folder location. C drive is the default, but you may have installed SnowRunner and or the public test server client elsewhere because of storage space to make use of an SSD or whatever. You will probably need to stop the game and PTS from running to do this bit. Restart the game and away you go. As far as I know, you cannot transfer a save file from PS4 or Xbox. Happy to be corrected, of course. Yes, if you play on anything but PC, you will have to start again. However, the brilliant matrunner.info resource I've been banging on about since my first SnowRunner videos has a handy tool known as the Save Editor. Basically, you can start a game with a chosen pile of cash, if only life had that option. Oh wait, it does. Your level can also be pre-selected, saving the need to grind experience to unlock whatever truck or upgrade you need. Simply navigate to the exact same location as your game save file, and then upload it to the save editor part of the matrunner.info website, also linked in the description. You will then be given the option to download a file which is your game save, but with those monetary and experience adjustments. Use this file to replace your existing save file in the public test server folder using the previous file location, and voila! Yes, make sure to add it to the right folder. Now all you have to do is complete some of the missions that unlock certain areas, such as getting access to the quarry in Tamer. It's actually quite nice doing some of the earlier stuff again, at least it was for me. Remember that you can connect an Xbox One controller using a USB when playing on PC, and some steering wheels, or even Bluetooth if you have the wireless accessory. It's handy that Microsoft software and hardware generally plays nice with each other. The PS4 controller will work too, and in theory, next-gen controllers for the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. And that's it, you can now play the public test server and its new content until your eyes bleed. Well, until it goes down for maintenance. You can use the official SnowRunner Discord and Focus Home SnowRunner forums for more info, and to make issues and bugs known. Or drop any questions in the comments on this video, and I'll see if myself or other viewers can help. Hopefully you found this video useful, I know a lot of people have already got the PTS, but if you made it this far, I would hazard a guess that you hadn't. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more gaming and motoring content. Take care, bye.